Abacoda. In this video, we're going to be manipulating the date and time in Postgres. Imagine that you have been approached by someone who is asking you what time is it and you responding that I don't have any watches with me but I do have Postgres so you type select now and it gives you the current date the current time we can also filter through this result and we can type select now double colon and date that will give us the date only as you can guess by now, you can do a similar thing with the time. So it gives you the time only. And we can also produce a date within a certain range. For that reason, we have a function called interval. So we can type select now, then dash interval. And inside the single quotes, we gonna say one year. That will give us a year from now in the past. That is the March of 2019. We can also travel back in time 100 years back in 1920. Oh, what a time it was. Um, not so far behind but we can also travel by let's say a 10 month and that will throw us in the may of 2019 uh, same thing works with days so just over a week ago And we can also travel into the future. All we need to do is to replace the minus with plus. So select now plus interval 100 years and we are in the future. Same if we will travel a hundred month in time. It's a great tool if you need to calculate how much longer you need to save to get on the property ladder, for example. We can also a sort of filter our result with the function called extract. So we can extract the part of the result that we are interested in. Let's say we want to extract the year only. So we type select extract year from now, and that will give us the year I'm recording this video in. That's 2020. Same thing works for month, as you could guess. The days. So you type select, extract, and inside the brackets, you type day from now. And that gives the, the fifth of March. On top of that, we can type day of the week as DOW. And remember that in Postgres, we count from Sunday. So the fourth day is Wednesday. Another interesting function that I wanted to show you is called H. So we can make Postgres calculate the age of something from a certain date we will specify. So for instance, if we type select first name, last name, gender, email, date of birth and country of birth. So essentially all columns from our employee table, apart from the ID. The last column is the date of birth. I didn't put a adequate um, date of birth when I created a table, so 
all employees are about one year old. However, it's not important for this example. If we will proceed from employee with the function age and we're going to put inside the brackets now, comma, date of birth. So it's going to calculate the age from their date of birth to the current period and it's going to return it as H as it stands for alias, as you remember. All right, that is it for today. Please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe and I'll see you on the next lesson. That was V. Thank you and goodbye.